The knock on Bitcoin from the social aspect of ESG is that it is a decentralized currency, which means that there is no central authority that regulates it. That makes it difficult to track and trace Bitcoin transactions, which can make it a tool for criminals and money launderers. In addition, Bitcoin mining has been linked to human rights abuses in countries like China. Yeah, because those are the human rights abuses that you want to concentrate on in China, right? Not the organ harvesting of the Fulan gang, the repressive Chinese regime, or their treatment of the Uyghurs. With that being said, let's describe the numerous benefits that Bitcoin will offer the planet on a social level. Bitcoin is an open, permissionless network which gives billions of people around the world property rights which they have never had. People who grew up in the United States might not think that that is such a big deal because they are the fish that are born into the water of property rights and have never known anything different. But that's because you've never experienced hyperinflation eating away at your life savings or governments seizing your assets for no reason or lacking even a local bank to store your wealth and then have your life savings literally washed away in a giant flood. With Bitcoin, anyone can join the network. I don't need permission from the government to open an account or to transfer wealth to another individual. I am not going to be denied doing business with a Western country because I was unfortunate enough by dint of birth to be an Iranian or a North Korean. I too can enter into the worldwide marketplace and try to provide value to humanity and actually get paid for it in unconfiscatable money. When I was in Myanmar a decade ago, it was described to me that people store their wealth in gold if at all possible. Because, well, storing it in the local bank in Myanmar, in Burma, is not such a good idea because if the military junta that runs the country decides for any reason that you might be a political dissident or an enemy of any type, they merely go into the bank and seize all the funds that you have in the account. And then they throw you in jail for 20 years. Imagine being a Burmese citizen and being treated in such a manner and having your whole life savings upended as though you were one of those evil Canadian truckers protesting the vaccine mandates of His Highness Justin Trudeau. The small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing, unacceptable uh, views, unacceptable uh, views. Or maybe you ticked off your overlords at woke PayPal by expressing a heterodox political opinion and they decided to seize all the funds that you had in your account, which by dint of their rules and regulations that they recently updated, they now have the right to do. Bitcoin protects you from such seizures, so long, of course, as you own your own keys. As the aphorism in the community goes, not your keys, not your coins.